Hey Libra, it's Chaos from Chaos of the Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. This is going to be uh, what to expect this Mercury Retrograde. Um, while I was shuffling y'all's cards, I got this song Alone by uh, p, &P Rock and um, Three Ways, Ty Dollar Sign featuring Travis Scott. And to me that, I don't know, y'all might be dealing with somebody who they like chose their lifestyle over just being solid in a connection with you possibly. So let's see what this is showing us. Um, I do have a ritual available. There's, I have the information video in the description box below. It is a love hex removal ritual to remove if, if you think that um, a hex has been placed on your love life. A lot of people have been talking about these exes doing weird shit, so that's what that ritual is for. All the information is going to be in that information video that I linked below in the description box. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. This video may or may not resonate. Let's see. Phoenix, love. Zaddy is playing right now. Hammer. <clears throat> Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Somebody might be coming to change y'all's mind. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation repetitive persistent working on it okay let's see let's get into this tarot which I got going on here let's get on my campaign all I see is dollar signs in between those candy lines and I ain't playing with my pimping. That's the journey. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this person. Okay, so there could have been a lot. Yeah, there could have been a lot of options. Yeah, there was a lot of conflict not conflict i'm sorry so we have the seven of cups the two of pentacles the hanged man and the star so that goes back to what i was saying about those two songs that y'all got um this person just looks like their lifestyle they let their lifestyle get in the way of what they could have had with you but it looks like they're gaining a new perspective and they might be trying to come back to make you a solid offer this one could be in the spotlight with the star card is what I'm feeling. Uh, someone that like like that PB and J song alone. He said I could turn down ten, but I can't turn down twenty. All these bitches want my time because they just wanted uh, because now they know a nigga got money. Something like that, yeah. So I don't know who y'all doing with Libra. Tell me about this love card. Yeah, it's they're they've been very slow. I feel like they have they care about you. They've just been very slow to make this offer. This look like something that y'all've gone over gone through a lot with this. Okay, so with this Knight of Cups, this Ten of Swords, and this Queen of Wands. This look like this person, like they come make you an offer, then they take it away. They come make you an offer, they take it away. Like, it's just a repetitive thing. And then we have the Queen of Wands here. Looks like you're finally standing in your power. And this also could have been something very passionate. Um, you are you could be a very creative person. A very creative person. Someone who has their own business. The Five of Pentacles came out. 
over here with this star card under this phoenix. Yeah, y'all are putting an end to this in and out. Either that or maybe they're trying they're they're finally putting an end to it. It's one of the two. Yeah, y'all are putting something at a rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all don't have feelings anymore. Y'all are cutting it off. This person might continue to continuously sabotage this shit because they're more concerned with money and serving themselves. Yeah. This empress is walking away. So you're standing your ground because you created your own stable foundation with this four of wands. This two with this two of wands, this four of wands, this empress, and this eight of cups. I feel like you you moved forward and you created your own solid foundation and you rose to you rose into the um you rose into your own power. And now you're letting this go. You are completely walking away from this. The feelings are no longer mutual. You probably you look like you emotionally detached from this situation because you called back your power. Yeah, this person doesn't want this cycle to end. We got the world in reverse. Queen of Swords energy. You're in the Queen of Swords like you done. You don't okay. If somebody is in the Queen of Swords energy, that this person could be upset with you. A Queen of Swords is someone that's just a flat out of you you if you emotionally detached, this could be you, honestly. You oh yeah, with this Queen of Wands in reverse and this Knight of Wands, you ain't hearing it. You are completely this Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that will cuss you the fuck out. Like, don't talk to me. This person is still in this page of wands energy. It's a lot of wands out. There's a lot of passion in this. It's a lot of wands out. A lot of wands. A lot of fire energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. Or in you you just have heavy fire in your chart. Or you're in that fire energy. This person still don't know what they want. So, yeah. Tell me about this eight of cups. Do we really need to clarify eight of cups, though? Yeah, because you, you've gained balance. You're walking away to find your peace. Because continuing to care for this situation is only going to bring you burdens. You're healing spiritually. This person is in their head about telling you the truth about something. There's something that they're trying to figure out. There's something that, there's something that you still don't know. Or maybe you do know. But this person might, they probably think that if they just go ahead and tell you the truth, that'll be an easier way to get back in good graces with you. Because, hey, at least I told you. He should have never did whatever it was in the first place, homie. Yeah, so this is what you have to look forward to. This Mercury retrograde, this same, whoever this is, this person that's been in and out. Someone, I feel like in the public eye, someone that their their something about their career brings a lot of temptation around them and again they they rather be in the streets than be in a relationship and they're still in that energy but it looks like they're gonna let's see let's just what's gonna be the outcome for this spirit what's gonna what's what's gonna be the outcome of this person coming back to the Libra Again, this is something that's been happening over and over again. And it's going to happen again. If you let this person back in. Because they're still going to be out partying and juggling. 
which is fine. I mean, but if that's not with you, what you want, you're still in your Queen of Wands energy. You're still moving forward with all your whatever business ventures you're working on, whatever your career. This is a career woman. Someone very creative. Yeah, you. It's going to definitely be some clashing. Clashing of the swords. Harsh words. Sharp tongues. Because this person knows that you're their soulmate, but they're still fucking up. Yeah. This is this person's energy. Drama. Dumb ass. Dumb shit. It's dumb shit, drama, foolishness. Yeah, you guys already know what you have to do. So that's the outcome. That's what you can expect this Mercury retrograde. That's what you can prepare for. Get ready. Sharpen your sword. Get ready to cut this person off. That's what I have for you, Libra. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All my information is in the bottom of the um in the description box below if you need to get in touch with me, a book a reading, all of that good stuff. So see you next time.